Hey everyone, how are you doing? So I was drinking my bubble tea when I realized that there are spell cards in Tour 15.5, but you also have two characters to play as. This means that you can have two spell cards. I know, I know, this isn't much, but it's most tap for humankind, I know, I know, thank you. Anyway, I was then wondering, since each card has their own amounts of points to collect before being usable, which combo of cards is the longest to charge? Well, if you quickly take a look at all of the cards of all the characters, you'll see that the one with the highest points is Yukari's train card. Therefore, we must take her as our master. But who shall we take as a slave? This is not the hardest part, but one that actually asks for a bit of research. Since the slave character will always have one defined spell card between the three that they can usually have, this means that we have to test each one to see which one has the highest points ratio as a slave. Taking this into account, we now have three contenders. This one being Sukuna with her mallet, John with her poverty bomb, and Doremi with her ABOMINATION! Now, the question is, which one deals the most damage? Well, with the power of math and not knowing what I'm doing, I can say that it's definitely not John because of the initial knockback of the train. Her bomb won't do too much damage or no damage at all. Doremi is not bad, but most of its potential goes wasted because of the randomness of the card. Sukuna is the only one that can manage to do some damage, though you will have to time it right at the end of Yukari's card. So in the end, Sukuna seems like the most viable choice, but wait... We forgot something. When doing a combo, the stun mechanic comes into play. Because after the stun ratio goes to 100, every single damage in the opponent is halved. This means that it's in turn more efficient to throw another train in the end. But hey, if I've done the highest cost, there's no reason for me not to do the lowest one, right? So, who has the lowest card price in total? The lowest cost for a card seems to be of 500, with the Fate sign from Futo and the Dream sign from Koishi. So if we combine them, we have a total of either 1500 points or 1700 points. Wait, that's not it. Both of them uses the other cards in combo, so that's definitely not it. They can only be master and not slave, so we need to find another one who has a lower card cost than 1000. Which can be found quite easily, but the lowest I managed to find as a slave was Nitori's Drill Breaker costing only 700 points at the dollar store. And to say which one does the most damage here, yeah, it's up to skill. No, really, since the cards of both Koishi and Futo asked for a bit of setup beforehand, it's up to the skill of both players. Yukari's train, on the other hand, is sure to deal some damage, since it can only be blocked. But if you compare by pure raw damage capability, it would be Futo with a UFO. So in the end, the cheapest combo is either Koishi or Futo with Nitori. From this, we can deduce two things. A higher point count doesn't mean that it's more powerful. It simply means that it's easier to set up. It's a simple balance between risk and reward. A higher cost means less risk for the cost of time, whereas a lower cost means more risk, but less time to waste. It all depends on your playstyle. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go back to my bubble tea.